Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2022 year-end top tens as we are gonna look at my number six light heavyweight in the world right now at 175 pounds. Contender Dilmurad Satibaldiev. Um, you know, not an easy name to pronounce. He was not ranked last year. He burst onto the scene. Um, he's only 28 years old and in May, he's 13 and two with only four knockouts. And now he's a WBC's number four contender. And you might wonder how, well, he quietly defeated Maxime Vlasov, the former world title challenger. He defeated him and um, and that uh, set him into motion, uh, you know, as, as, a, as a serious top 10 guy. He ended the career of Vlasov and uh, stopped him in six rounds. And just a year prior, Vlasov had given Joe Smith hell over 12 rounds, losing a close majority decision for the WBO title. So um, this was a big win for uh, Satibaldiev, and um, now he's in the serious mix here. He's he's the WBC's, uh, like I said, number four contender, or is that 14? Yeah, he's the 14th contender in the WBC. I want to see if he can move himself up the ladder a little bit. Maybe one of these better known guys will give him an opportunity, and we'll see if he's the real deal. But um, that was a very credible win, beating Vlasov, coming out of nowhere to beat Vlasov, and now he's thrown himself into the mix of, uh, outside of the top couple guys, it's a pretty wide open division. So we'll see, maybe he can fight a returning Gilberto Ramirez, somebody along those lines, um, even Andre Durrell or, uh, you know, or Joe Smith Jr., since Joe Smith also beat Vlasov by a close decision. So we'll see what happens uh, heading into 2023 for, Satibaldiev, but a nice win, um, throws himself in the mix, and we'll see what he does moving forward now after that victory. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my um, that's my number six light heavyweight in the world right now at 175 pounds, and that is Dilmarad Satibaldiev, a contender. As my 2022 year-end top tens continue, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.